I got you so good! Going grocery shopping shouldn't be like gambling in Vegas. The foods we buy should all be on the up and up. Well, it turns out that some of the things we eat each day are hiding some secrets. Secrets they don't want you to know. Well, we are lifting the veil on 10 fake foods you've been scammed into buying. Part 2. You should see the look on your face! American Cheese. Cheese. What is it? It's a favorite topping for burgers all over the U.S. We're talking about American cheese. While this melty orange substance may be your first choice, this little bit of information might make you think twice before asking for American cheese to adorn that burger. It turns out that while there used to be a process that companies would follow in order to produce American cheese, that process has since gone to the wayside. The standards of identity for dairy products opened the door for producers to play fast and loose with our definition of American cheese. Dried milk. All that a product needs to be labeled as American cheese is a combined mixture of around 51% of Colby cheese, curd cheese, or granular cheese. This rule takes some companies out of the running right off the bat. Brands like Kraft have chosen not to abide by these rules and instead market their cheese as pasteurized processed American cheese food. When did the culinary space get so convoluted? If you ride or die for American cheese, then always make sure you're checking the ingredients to see if it makes the grade. If you have no problem with the fluorescent orange squares, just be aware that there are more ingredients than simply cheese lurking in these cheese slices. Cheese, cheese, cheese! White bread. Could we please get a little bread? White bread has gotten a lot of hate in recent years. When consumers found out the companies were bleaching the flour to create a pristine looking loaf, it called into question the nutritional benefits of white bread. This particular type of bread is made from regular wheat that has simply had the bran and the germ layers removed. This process is what provides the color that goes along with so many brands of white bread. You can pack our toasty loaf full of so much run-of-the-mill wheat that it'd make your mama cry. To increase shelf life while the wheat is processing, the oil from the grains is completely removed to get rid of unwanted moisture, which makes the bread last longer on store shelves. There are many nutritional benefits to the oil that's removed, making the bread some somewhat of a nothing sandwich. Not to mention that many companies choose to add enriched flowers and bleaching agents to create that picturesque look that we've seen on store shelves for years now. Bring us the bread. Instant mashed potatoes. Taters are just about done. I'm just gonna give them one quick whisk. When you buy a product from your local grocery store, you shouldn't have to become Sherlock Holmes to find out what's in the box. Well, unfortunately, we found another beloved food that's been pulling the wool over our eyes for years now. Instant mashed potatoes are a quick and easy way to add to your family dinner. Simply boil some water, add the potato mix, and voila! In about five minutes, you have the perfect side to compliment your meal. Well, it turns out that instant mashed potatoes might be hiding a few secrets. What's your secret? The old adage of just adding water has worked in the past as everything from dehydrated vegetables to instant mixes just need a touch of hydration. Well, instant potatoes go one step further with its addition of unwanted byproducts used to lengthen shelf life. This seems to be a trend with many of the items on our list, but it turns out that while all you probably wanted was potatoes, you're getting a few hitchhikers as well. Mono and diglycerides are present for the product's longevity, as well as sodium acid pyrophosphate and citric acid for flavor. While there are definitely more egregious violations of fake food, just know that you're getting a bit more than just potatoes when you opt for the instant version. More mashed potatoes! Fish fillets. How's your steamed trout? It's not great. Love it or hate it, seafood makes up a large portion of the world's diet. Some countries make their mark on the world's economy by shipping out seafood as their main export to the world. Surely there can be nothing nefarious about the global seafood market, right? Well, studies done by several popular publications found that many of the supermarkets and grocery stores that we frequent are guilty of mislabeling and misrepresenting the fresh fish that's bought and sold in their stores. 
Should I fillet this fish, milady? In an article published by The Guardian in 2021, the reporter found that around 40% of the fish sold in stores is not being labeled as the right species. If you're paying 30 bucks for a pound of swordfish, you'd better be getting what you paid for. A popular fish that's often sold as a higher-end catch is tilapia. It has a mild and unassuming flavor that's been used as a bait-and-switch for many years. While you'd probably have to be a fishmonger to discern different fish fillets from each other, we're just trying to arm you with the knowledge that if something smells fishy, it probably is. Who wants to go fishing? Before we get to more food scams, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Extra virgin olive oil. Olive. What? You want to use olive oil. Olive oil is one of the most versatile cooking substances in the culinary sphere. Well, buyer beware, because the olive oil that you're buying might be an imposter. Extra virgin olive oil is the name given to only the most pure and unadulterated version. Strict processing standards are watched over by the powers that be, and an olive oil can only qualify as being extra virgin if it meets rigorous standards. Because I'll tell you, it's not for a routine inspection. Well, that doesn't stop companies from bottling their own version and attempting to pass it off at this high standard. Many companies choose additives that increase shelf life, flavor, and lower costs. And unfortunately, you, the consumer, are paying for it. Lots of these companies choose to add other seed oils or lesser olive oil in order to stretch their product. Not only is this false advertising, but it's completely illegal. So companies have employed clever word trickery to fool you into thinking you have distilled gold in your shopping cart. Always read the label carefully, and when in doubt, the ingredients spell it out. There should be one, maybe two ingredients on your bottles of extra virgin olive oil, and we'll give you one guess as to what the number one ingredient should be. By getting some extra virgin olive oil into the pan. Saffron. $2,000 worth of saffron. Saffron is one of the most highly coveted spices on the planet. It's the most expensive spice out there, and buying an entire pound of it will set you back around $1,500. So when consumers found that there was more than just saffron in their spice, they weren't happy. The process of harvesting saffron is an intense one. Each bloom that the tiny red strings come from must be picked by hand and then processed in the same manner. This means that each strand that arrives on shelves has been fussed over by an actual human being and not a machine. Well, it seems that some companies were stretching the truth of what was contained in their saffron. Consumers were shocked to find that many of the red strands of saffron were actually bits of corn silk that had been dyed red and packed alongside actual saffron strands. It's cold! Fear not, we've uncovered a relatively foolproof test to find out if you've been taken for a ride. Grab a glass of water and let a few strands of the spice float on top. In a matter of minutes, the water should be turning a yellowish color, while the strand itself retains its red color. If all the coloring runs out, the water turns red, or nothing happens at all, chances are you've been duped into buying fake saffron. Fear not, we're here to arm you with the tools to make sure you only select the best next time you're shopping. Taste, smell, appearance, texture, and price will all tell the tale. If you think you're saving a few bucks by buying a lesser brand, chances are that it's not real saffron. What is this in here? Saffron? Vanilla. Do you like vanilla? One of the most beloved flavors in the world, vanilla can be found in desserts all over the world. It's become such a popular flavor, in fact, that companies have begun to cut corners in order to provide you with that vanilla flavor without the cost of harvesting the beans from the actual plant that it comes from. Vanilla is derived from the orchids that share the same name as the spice. It's an involved process that needs specific conditions to produce a genuine product. The pods of the orchid must be painstakingly handled and distilled in order to get the decadent flavor of vanilla. Pollination has been mused over for many years, and people still work to this day to find an artificial way of reproduction that's commercially viable. In the absence of this new technology, producers have found a way to emulate the taste and smell of vanilla through some unsavory methods. And the icing on this unsavory cake? It's likely that the vanilla you find in your kitchen and on store shelves is a 
combination of synthesized wood pulp or tar that's been soaked in alcohol to release an extract that closely resembles vanilla. Add a few drops of actual vanilla extract into this mix, and companies are content to ship this out to stores worldwide. The proof isn't always in the pudding. Sometimes it's actually on the label. Make sure that the list of ingredients of your vanilla extract don't contain any extra additives, and you'll be sailing into your kitchen with distilled gold. Hmm, and vanilla. Wasabi. Ah, oh, wasabi! Looking for a way to clear out your sinuses? Wasabi is one of the most popular condiments in the world, especially in Asian countries like Japan and Korea. It's made by harvesting the root of the wasabi plant and then grinding it down into a fine paste that goes perfect as an addition to a lot of seafood dishes. Logistics issues and company greed have made it so that most of us have never actually tried real wasabi, which should be ground directly off the root table side. Companies have found that certain varieties of horseradish mixed with green food coloring is a reasonable alternative to people looking for wasabi. It's fake? It's another bait and switch, folks. Honestly, you'd be better off growing your own wasabi than trying to find the real thing on store shelves. It's a notoriously hard plant to cultivate in certain areas of the world, and as a result, it's incredibly hard to get your hands on the real thing. Once again, make sure you're checking the list of ingredients when you're getting ready to make your purchase. Besides the additives used for longevity, there should be a single ingredient on the back of your wasabi. Anything more than that, and you're getting an imitation. Wasabi in my Kobe beef. I'm gonna make you Kobe beef, baby. In recent years, Wagyu beef and one of its most popular varieties, Kobe, have taken the world by storm. Wagyu beef is a one-of-a-kind product that comes to us directly from Japan, where the beef must undergo a strict regimen of checks and balances before it's certified as Wagyu. Firstly, it must come from a pedigree of cow that has already been certified, meaning that the lineage of cows that produce Wagyu is strictly controlled. The cows also need to be raised under guidelines that keep them happy and stress-free. When a food product garners any sort of acclaim or success, there will always be those looking to make a quick buck. In recent years, restaurants in Europe and America came under fire for serving steak that they claimed was Wagyu beef, in particular Kobe beef. When customers asked for the certification that comes along with each Wagyu cow, the restaurateurs were puzzled. God, I'm so confused. Claiming that they had had no such documentation. It turns out that they were trying to pass off a similarly marbled beef for the one-of-a-kind Kobe beef by employing a little word trick. The cattle had come from Kobe in Japan, and as a result, they thought this was the only box that needed ticking. Well, it turns out that this sort of word play can get you into serious trouble with officials who regulate the supply of Wagyu. As a result, the beef market in Japan, through no fault of their own, was required to take new steps to ensure no one would ever make this mistake again. Kobe beef not named after basketball player. Truffles. Where is your truffle, pig? You're looking at him. One of the most valuable substances known to man, black and white truffles are a unique mushroom-type plant that imparts a rich and unique flavor into cuisine everywhere, but most prominently in Europe, where they're found. On the back of the truffle's success, many brands chose to start offering truffle oil so that the average person could get a taste of what they were missing. You would think that in order to make this truffle oil, you would perhaps distill the base ingredient down into a liquid and sell this to customers. Well, you'd be wrong. So wrong! It turns out that the taste of black and white truffles is easily mimicked by simply adding a bit of chemical gas to olive oil. It invokes the taste of the truffle without the company having to shell out big bucks. Thankfully, with this product, the imitators are not hard to sniff out. If your truffle oil tastes like 15 different chemicals, then you probably don't have the real stuff. Real truffle oil has a complexity of flavor that truly cannot be mimicked by anything else on the food pyramid. Always make sure to check your oil for the big three – appearance, aroma, and taste. Is the oil no thicker than water? Well, chances are you have flavored canola oil on your hands. Does it taste like a tire fire? Real truffle oil should have a hint of truffle flavor, but you should still be able to taste the olive oil. These are all things you should be on the lookout for when you're ready to splurge some extra money on good cuisine. No more distractions. Find those truffles. Stick around, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and tap or click on another great video.